At the beginning, it all began for me being a reseller. And you know what? If I hadn't have given myself permission to do that at the beginning, then I would never be where I'm at now. Hello! I hope you are having a wonderful week so far. I did something totally crazy this past weekend. So my word for the year is um, explore. If you're watching the video version, I'm showing you my phone case right now. Kellen every year, well for the past two years, has bought me a new phone case with my word of the year on. And for me, explore was about exploring new ideas, giving myself permission to like explore new ways of doing things, but also explore physically like explore different places, go to new places, adventure. And for a really long time, me and Kellen have talked about um, getting a motorhome and um, you know, like when you want to do something, but then when we're like, but you're afraid to do it. So a few months ago, we went down to a place where they had loads of motorhomes for sale and we were looking around and we saw some and it was like, we could order it now and we could get it and we would have it like we could pick it up you know, we'd be picking up right, right about now and we would be able to like use it this summer and drive it around. Anyway, it was like, I really wanted to say yes, but you know what happened? I just started thinking of all the reasons why I might go wrong. And I was thinking about, um, you know, maybe we're picking the wrong one. Um, I don't have any experience with this. Maybe we should do this one. And what if we, it was just really like a fear of making the wrong decision. And because of that, like this fear rose up in me when we were there. And I just felt like I can't make a decision because I'm too afraid to make the wrong one so we didn't make a decision and then now we're like oh my gosh we just bloody made that decision we'd have a motorhome arriving and we'd be able to use it and it'd be amazing we're just like why didn't we do it and so we went uh we said so we started thinking about motorhomes again and um we went back down to this place to just look around and we got there and this is one we liked that was there and you know, we started talking, I was like, Kellen, the only reason we didn't buy one last time is because we were afraid to make the wrong decision. Yes, this is like wasn't we never we weren't coming in here to look for something like this I mean this is definitely a bigger than what we were planning on it's also way more expensive than what we were planning on I mean we were like but I was just like if we just leave now we're gonna dither on it we're not gonna make a decision we're gonna talk ourselves out of it but if we do make this decision we might be able to pick this up in a few weeks time and it'll be amazing and so I kind of talked us into it and like impulsively not knowing anything about this motorhome brand or anything we were like, we're buying it. And so we put this deposit down, really excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, we've done it. I was kind of really terrified and excited at the same time thinking, I don't know anything about motorhomes. And um, so I got back and really excited. And Callum was like, uh, I just looked at the info for this motorhome we bought and it's like 4,200 kilograms, which was something like that. And he was like, and um, I'm not sure either one of us can drive this with our license. And I was like, what? and then uh we looked it up and yeah apparently neither of us have the license to be able to drive this thing and I was like oh no we tried to be impulsive we tried to go for it and then it's like boom no and I was like oh Kellen was like maybe we're not supposed to have a motorhome and I was like no no we just did it we we got over ourselves we got out of our own way we did it and it's like why does this have to happen Nevertheless, I am excited. I mean, I don't fully know yet whether we will keep this one and get our licenses for being able to drive basically heavy goods vehicles. Like I cannot even imagine passing that test. But to be fair, if I can't pass that test, I shouldn't even be driving a camper van and motorhome in the first place. <laughs> um, so we shall see. But as you know what, it made me realize in life and especially in business, so often we are so blooming scared to make the wrong choice. And so we don't do anything. And I see this all the time, especially when it comes to starting a business or coming up with business ideas or business, you know, what business ideas once you're running it. Like, do I create a course? Do I create a membership? Do I do the digital product? What do I do? And then you just do nothing. I have been there so many times because you're thinking, well, maybe it would be better like this or maybe it'd be better like that. And because you go round and round in circles, overthinking everything, you just do nothing. If you have ever felt like this, leave me a comment on social media, send me a DM, let me know. We are, you are not alone if this is how you felt. Like we feel like this in so many areas of life. Like literally I didn't buy a motorhome because I was afraid that I was gonna make the wrong decision. It felt scary. And when that fear bubbles up inside of us, it's so much easier to back out and say, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Because we, we go back to that safety place but then you get on a few months into the future or a few years or a lifetime for some people and you're like why the bloody hell didn't I just do it like why um 
I know I have like, like I said, felt like that so many times, especially in business. Um, so in this episode, I really wanted to talk to you about something, um, about a, a way I got started in business that really, really helped me. So moving away from the motivation story for now, and um, I want to tell you about a way to build a business where it can feel a little bit less intimidating, a little bit less daunting and a bit easier to get going. Um, so... I'm excited to tell you about this because I have created something and it has, if you're listening to this when this episode has just gone live, what I have created has just gone live. We've just launched it and I'm so excited. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Do I tell you what it is? Do I tell you about the backstory of like, you know, this and like, you know, this whole thing that can be so helpful, even if you don't buy this bundle I created. Um, Okay, let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell you what this, the bundle is. So... I know that so many people who listen to this podcast, who are part of FEA, you know, all you know, all of us here, we, we want to build businesses, or we're building businesses, and we, you know, we're here to create success. And I think so many of the people that I come into contact with, who are part of this, you know, part of this community, you know, we're all on a mission. Well, most of us really feel like we're on a mission to make a difference. We want to help in some way. We want to be. We want to do good in this world. We want to feel like we've mattered, and so we want to do something we're, that we're inspired about and we're excited to do you know excited to get out there um but um so often we get so hung up because we feel like we're not qualified to do what we want to do who am I to be creating this um we doubt ourselves we question ourselves we think everyone's better than us we you know whatever you whatever your story is you know for you it might be completely different for me it was this feeling that I wasn't qualified enough who the heck was I to be doing this stuff? And um, I found it really difficult to create something that I could put out there and sell. Um, and so we have, so I've been thinking about this of like, what can we do? Because obviously we've got courses and programs that help teach people how to, you know, go and create, you know, take your knowledge and expertise and create a course or a membership or a digital product. But the problem is that even with knowing the steps to take, people still get so in their own way about like feeling like they're not good enough or when they start to try and like get that information out of their head and create something, they just get complete like brain freeze and they just can't do it. Um, So I was like, what could be an easy, what could make this easier for people to just get going, to just start doing something? And I was like, what if I create something that is like something incredible and really high quality and really amazing, but I give people the resale rights to it. So they get to sell it as if they created it themselves. They get to sell it as their own business, their own brand under their own name. And I was like, that would be really helpful for people. So that is what we've done. We've created a digital product it's actually a series of products, but it's bundled them all together. And when you buy them, you also buy the resale rights, which means that you can sell what we have created as your own. You could sell it on Etsy. You could sell it on your own website. You could give it away as a lead magnet. You can do what honestly whatever you want with it. And um, I'm really, really bloody excited about it because I've been thinking about this for a while and it's really cool to see it come together. And I'm just, I'm so excited to have it, get it out into the world and share it with you. Um, so this, re- the first resale rights bundle that we're releasing is actually goal setting and planning resale rights bundle. And so everything that we have created inside of that resale rights bundle links to helping people to get clarity, to set goals, to get intentional, to create plans, to stay on track with what they want to make happen. Um, and so we've got a bunch of different digital digital products. I mean, they might be helpful for you to use yourself, but when you buy them, like I said, you also have the rights to use them. So for example, let's say if you're a coach or if you don't have anything, you don't have any business, you just want to start with something, you could take this bundle and you could go and put it on Etsy or, you know, you can, you, there, you can also tweak, you can edit them if you want. We've got special Canva links for you or you don't have to edit them and you can just use them exactly as they are and and resell them you don't have to do anything if you don't want to but just as a way for you to be like right I have this product it's really good quality and I'm going to play around with this and test out if I can turn this into a revenue stream because I know you can if you go to fea.link forward slash bundle fea.link forward slash bundle I'll leave the link in the show notes too um you can find all the details for this bundle um all put all together for you um um so yeah anyway let me explain why this has come from so when I started my first business, I, I, I was a mobile phone unlocking reseller. 
So basically an opportunity came up for me to, I'd run out of money. I was looking around for different opportunities and this opportunity was there for me to become a reseller unlocking mobile phones online. I had no idea about mobile phones. I didn't know about mobile phone unlocking, but it was just an opportunity for me to take someone else's service, someone else's product and resell it online under my own brand. So I created Easy Mobile Unlock. That was my brand name. And I had to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to sell this thing? So I realized I need to create a website and I need to figure out how to get people to my website. So I created the website. I started using Google AdWords and I started to drive traffic and I started to get people buying and I started to make sales. And after a few months, I really I was making like hundreds and hundreds every single month. And, um, the business became really, really successful. And I learned so much about building an online business. It was unbelievable. And that was me as a reseller. Um, a few years later, I became a reseller, um, selling business telecommunication services. My business was called Simply Telecoms. I did the website, I did the branding. I even got it to the first page of Google for one of my top keywords. I was so impressed with myself. Um, And so I became a reseller. So again, it wasn't me creating any of the products and services. It was me reselling them under my own brand name. So it was like my own brand name, my own company, but I was reselling someone else's services. And at the beginning, getting going, doing this stuff was really amazing because I didn't have to figure out creating my own product or service. Like I wouldn't, if I back then, Carrie back then in 2005 had to figure out how to bloody create her own products or service. Like I would have just gone in circles. Like I wouldn't have even known where to begin or what the bloody hell to create. However, by reselling someone else's products and service, I was able to get on with figuring out, okay, how does this online world work? How do I actually sell something online? How can I put this out there? And it was also less scary because I wasn't putting myself on the line. This wasn't my, I had not poured my heart and soul into creating this product or service. So like, if I didn't sell, I didn't sell, but at least I tried. But in doing this and in becoming a reseller, I was able to hone my skills of figuring out how to sell online. I learned about websites, I learned about Google AdWords, I learned about so many different things in order to build a successful online business. And so a few years into building this, so around 2008, so I started the the first phone unlocking business in 2005. By 2008, I felt really isolated building this business. I felt like every time I went to a networking event, I was just meeting men in suits. It really didn't want to have a conversation with me. That's a bit unfair, but most of them really didn't. Um, Some of them were really nice, obviously. Um, And I just really felt like I didn't belong. And I wanted to belong. I wanted to find the other women doing something like I was doing. Like, where were they at? I knew they were out there, but where the bloody hell were they? And so I had this idea to create this platform for women in business. Now, On the other side, I'd always been really interested in personal development and business development. And, you know, because if you've heard me, if you've been on the podcast, you know that. Like, ever growing up with my dad, like, he's been telling me about Jim Rohn and Les Brown and all these amazing people, you know, for as long as I can remember. And so I all had that inside of me of wanting to share that with other people. So there was me in 2008. And I, well, it must have been like, what, 23 or something? And, um, I was like, who am I to create this? Who am I to to put this out there? Even though I had been really successful in my phone unlocking business, even though I had had success with Simply Telecoms, it wasn't wild success, but I'd made money, like decent amount of money from it. So I'd had, I was doing those two things, but when it came to me, me creating something, me putting something together, oh my gosh, like the imposter syndrome kicked in. Like I felt like I needed a million qualifications to get going with anything and I went around in circles and it was really hard for me to get out of my own way. And it was really hard for me to get out of my own way, even just to put the bloody website live. I mean, I would buy a domain name, create the website and then just do nothing. And that happened over and over again. And then in 2011, I had enough of my own crap. And I was like, right, I'm getting out of my own way and I'm going to go for this. So what I would do um, back then is I would buy resale rights, but packages like, so in this is in the information space. So obviously I'd been a reseller phone, with phone unlock codes. I've been a reseller with business telecommunications and then started looking at how could I resell like information stuff that would relate to business. And so 
I remember buying like these resale rights packages and oh my goodness, they were so bad. Like so bad. I could not, I could not do anything with them. Like I wouldn't have even given that stuff away for free. It was that bad. And I remember feeling really frustrated because I thought, oh my gosh, like it would, it, I just needed something to give me the confidence to put it out there. Um, so I could just get going. I just wanted to get going with it. And as you know, as it had turned out, I didn't find anything. And for the first couple of years of building FEA, I just, I just literally did what I could. And I would interview lots of other people. I shared lots of other women's stories. I, and that's really how I kind of got it going. And, um, it took me like, it took me ages to create anything. And it wasn't until I mean, 2012, 2013, when I even started creating digital products and in 2000, at the end of 2013 was when I created my membership. It was like pulling teeth. It was so hard for me to do. But even the first digital product, which for the FEA, which was a a guided visualization, even that was created by someone else. My friend, Jason Jackman created it and I asked him if I could sell it. So I'd sell it and we just did a a profit split on it. And that was like the first digital product that I sold for FEA, I'm pretty sure, was this guided visualization that he'd created. We sold it for like, I don't know, $9.99 or something. Um, and sold thousands of those things. Um, but I didn't create it because I just felt so f- afraid to create something myself and sell it because it's bloody scary. And I feel like so many of us get stuck in this place. And, um, but like, when you are reselling someone else's thing, it's way less scary because it's not your heart and soul on the line. It's not your, it's not really you on the line. You're just selling something else. So obviously like you can be an affiliate and promote other people's stuff where you're directing people elsewhere, but I wanted to build my own brand, my own business. And so that's why being a reseller and being able to build my own identity around a product or service, I always felt was like really helpful. Like it helped me to feel like it was my own thing because it was my own thing. Um, so, um, so yeah, so obviously for FEA, I mean, I did resell Jason's, um, visualization. Um, I didn't find any other resale rights things to sell as part of FEA ever, because like I said, it was such crap. It was just a load of crap. Um, and so, Eventually, I got out of my own way and was able to launch my membership site. That became really successful and has, you know, grown and become wildly successful. Like, I have been completely blown away, really, by the level of success I've been able to create. And I have sold now, you know, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of digital products. I've sold, like, workbooks. I've sold, like, digital workbooks. I've sold little printables. I've sold um, guided visualizations. I've sold, obviously, all the digital product, product products we create inside the membership. I've created courses. Like, you name it, I think I've created it and sold it. So now it's, it's different. I feel like I've got years and years and years of experience of putting this stuff together. So it's a bit different. But at the beginning, it all began for me being a reseller. And you know what? If I hadn't have given myself permission to do that at the beginning, then I would never be where I'm at now. And this is another point that I really want to make. And I think I made this in another episode recently. Like when I got started in phone unlocking, it was not the be all and end all for me. And I think so often now going into business, people are looking for like, what is my true passion? What lights me up? What do I love? And we're so hung up on trying to find something that fills us with passion that we just don't do anything. It's another point where we just freeze because we're like, well, I don't bloody know. And um, we're just waiting for perfection. We're waiting to figure out this perfect idea. The perfect idea, like you're going to be bloody waiting for ages. So for me, when I just gave Got, gave myself permission to, I mean, getting going with phone unlocking that I didn't know anything about. Phones obviously didn't really interest me in any way whatsoever, but I just did it. And in the doing of that enabled me to really develop my skills. It enabled, like, like I said, I would never, ever, ever in a million years be where I am now if I hadn't started that business. It was only because of that business that I ever had the idea to create the Female Entrepreneur Association because I felt so lonely as a woman in business. Like, that was the only reason. So sometimes you should just you just get on and do the things that are easiest for you to get on and do and stop sitting and sitting and sitting and waiting and waiting because you're afraid to make the wrong decision because you feel like, you know, all the all the things, whatever it is for you, and instead just do something. And that is why I was so, I'm, I am so blooming excited about this resale rights bundle because it's where I got started. And so I wanted to create it to help anyone else out there who just wants to start 
you just want to start, you just want to get going with something and you're just not at the place right now where you want to create it yourself. For whatever reason, you're just not there. And maybe in three years, five years, one year, whatever it is, maybe you will be there and amazing. But I'm, I really feel like you'll be there a hell of a lot faster if you just get on with doing something right now, selling something right now and honing those skills. Because I guarantee when you start doing that it, and you, you actually get on with it and you start going with it, you're going to learn so much in that process. It's going to open the door for like you know, so many more ideas are going to flow through or opportunities or so many things will arise. And so I'm just, I can't wait to see the breakthroughs and the amazing stories that people tell me as to what they do with this resale rights bundle. Um, so yeah, so like I said at the beginning, it's, um, this is the first of hopefully many that we create and, uh, we want to create so many different types of bundles, um, and you know, you know, you can buy all the bundles over the, you know, over the time as we release them, um, and and have a really great collection of products that you can have under your own brand name. But just to put into into perspective, like even if you have an existing business, like let's say you're a health coach or something, well, obviously goals and and intentions and all that kind of stuff is really important. If you know, if you're health, you know, if you're working with people who want to be healthy, so maybe those are all products that you might be able to use with your existing clients and you could give them as like an extra, like, oh, I've got this for you for this month. Maybe you have a membership and you could add um, the these goal setting and planning, this goal setting and planning bundle or digital products to your membership as something for your members. Maybe you could add it as a bonus to a course. You can obviously sell it in its own right. You can sell it on, like I said, on Etsy or on your own website. You could you could sell it on like, you can put it, tell people about it on your social media. Um, you can, um, like I said, you also, I said, you could also use them as lead magnets if you wanted to. You can literally do what you want with them. Um, they are yours to repurpose as your own, um, as ex- either exactly as they are, or you can also tweak them and edit them, add your picture in, tweak the text if you want, whatever you want to do. But we have done the hard work of creating the product. So essentially, like me and my, t- my team, and they've been amazing, we've come together to create something that we would sell as FEA. Um, only we are also selling the resale rights bundle. So it's as in, essentially like you've hired FEA to create products for you. So we've designed it for you. We've created it for you. We've put the copy together for you. Um, and we've done all that stuff. All you need to do is just put it out there and sell it and start talking about it and sharing it um, and start really honing the, those skills on like getting stuff out there. But when you it's not yours and you've not poured your whole heart and soul into it, I'll tell you what, it's a hell of a lot easier to put it out there and to put stuff out there. So um, I'm ridiculously excited. This little bundle you can get is an absolute bargain. You can get it all, all of that and some unbelievable bonuses for $47. So it's not going to cost you crazy amounts. Um, so go grab it. Go grab that bundle. It's on fea.link forward slash bundle or in the show notes. Um, so yeah, so I never really told, told this story before. I mean, yes, I've talked about the phone unlocking stuff and all that, you know, many times, but um, I've never really dived into the fact that I was a reseller. And um, for me, it was, it just, it was just a really powerful way to get going in business. Like, you know, some, sometimes, you know, there's so, well, there's so much opportunity for every single one of us with the internet. Um, so much, like all of us can create so much success, you know, tapping into what the internet has to offer. But when you're getting started, it can feel overwhelming and daunting and scary to figure out, well, how am I going to create something? What do I, what am I going to create? That is scary. Like it took me a really long time to create anything. Now, some people are like, I'm just on it and going to do it and I'm going to create something and they just go and do it really quickly. And that's amazing. But I think for the vast majority of us, it takes a really long time to get to that place, which is why even though you can teach this stuff and we do teach this stuff, not everyone gets there with it. So that's why I thought like if I could create something to just help people get over that hurdle and just have something to sell, have something to put out there, it just makes it so much easier to just get going with it. So um, I'm yeah, like I said, I'm really excited. Would I would love to hear your feedback, your thoughts. Um, um, yeah, so definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, email us. We all you know we respond to all of our emails. So you know when you do email us. We all we pick it up, we read it, we circulate the emails um, in, internally. Um, it's always really nice to hear um, feedback, especially from these episodes as well. I love it. Um, 
so so yeah I hope this has like provided some food for thought and if you have been feeling stuck if you have been feeling like you're just holding yourself back from you know creating that idea because you don't know where to begin you're afraid to get it wrong um you just don't feel qualified enough whatever it is and you just keep getting in your own way then maybe it's time to do things differently and I'm, and maybe it's not the resale rights bundle that I've created maybe that's not it but maybe 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 you're going to become an affiliate for someone or maybe there's another way to get started and that is going to lead to some amazing incredible things in the future so just get started somewhere with something and I think you'll find it's incredible um what you can make happen um so yeah really excited about this if you have any questions whatsoever um let me know I'm sure there'll be loads um we've put as much info as possible over on the page that talks all about the resale rights bundle um but yeah you literally get to sell it as your own as your own brand you don't have to put FBA anywhere literally we're not mentioned anywhere it's yours to sell as your own uh in your own way on your own platform to your own audience um honestly whatever you want to do with it um so yeah go check it out uh, let me know what you think and i will see you next tuesday for another episode of the she means business show i hope you've loved this week's episode of the she means business show if you want more help and support to build a wildly successful business then join hundreds of thousands of women and become an fea insider you'll get access to some of our amazing freebies to our bonuses to our giveaways to so much good stuff you can join me over at fea.link forward slash insider to get all of the goodness and i will see you next week for another episode of the she means business show